from Atlanta, Georgia. Blue corner, Bernard the Roughneck Rutherford. And your referee for this main event fight, Mr. Blake Grice. Right now, our Hooters girls bringing in the belt that is on the line again in this fight for the vacant NFC United States Heavyweight Championship. Let's hear for your Hooters girls and the belt that is on the line for one of these fighters. Special thanks to Budweiser, the Great American Lager, D. Geller and Sons, Blood Brothers Moving in Storage in Paradise. Funding group, this is your main event, Wild Bills Fight Night 21. All right, guys, main event, Wild Bills Fight Night 21. I'm Cliff Fredwell. I'm along here with Roy Singer, housemate of Jesse Forbes, one of our main event fighters tonight, uh, WC vet, Roy Singer, UFC vet here. Fighting Bernard Rutherford, Jesse Forbes coming out early. Jesse Forbes from uh, season three of The Ultimate Fighter on Spike TV. He was uh, known as the Vanilla Gorilla in the house. Actually, the house that I uh, spent six weeks in with him. Uh, he's definitely matured since the show and uh, got some good wins. Fought in some big promotions like uh, Ring RITC and uh, UFC and WC. He's fighting Rage in the Cage, WC. Recent win over Victor Moreno is a preseason fighter. Uh, in the clinch here, uh, Bernard's got double overs, Jesse's got double unders, looking to throw some knees here. Some good knees to the, get to the midsection there. Jockeying for position in the clinch. Back up, back up, back up! Exchange the punches on the, uh, on, on, the, on the breakout there, look good. Both fighters still look good, hands up. Bernard's a local boy here in Atlanta Stand fighting for extreme Stand MMA. Um, he's primarily known as a stand-up guy, but he's been, he's been working over the years on his ground game and stuff. He, he'd rather keep it on his feet, though. Most definitely he's still, uh, still a still stand-up guy and uh, strong, explosive guy. I've been in the gym with him as well, and uh, he's definitely a gamer. Throwing some, some big loop and hooks right there, looking for the quick knockout. Jesse. Good. Just keeping his hands up, just looking poised and uh, putting out that jab. He's doing a good job of circling away from Jesse's power. He got caught a little bit there, but he's been doing a good job of Come circling on, to his Jesse. left, staying out, staying out of Jesse. Jesse's power. You're correct, Cliff. Uh, when you're fighting a southpaw, you definitely want to stand outside his lead leg and just drop that right hand down the middle. Want to, I would love to see Bernard throw some more right hands right now. There you go. Just find his range, and that's a powerful right hand. Nice knee by Forbes. It almost connected. Jesse's doing a great job at controlling the center, putting smart combos together, good knees. Good fight so far. Wild Bills fight night 21, live here in Atlanta. I'm Cliff Fredwell along here with uh, UFC vet Roy Singer. We got Jesse Forbes, Bernard Rutherford, four to the takedown. Nice. Bernard's got to get guard here, and he, he didn't. He's in trouble now. Yep, Jesse's got the back, the whole series. Throwing some big strikes. And uh, some good ground and pound from rear mount. Hooks in, hit in hard. And just an unending barrage of punches causes uh, referee Blake Rice to come in and stop it. Those were heavy. Those were heavy hands. Those weren't little pitter pat hands. He was throwing those with bad intentions. Blake Rice had to step in and stop that. Most stuff we always talk about fighter safety, and uh, we can hear that slap down here in the booth. And uh, looks like Bernard's okay, but he was not intelligently defending himself. Let the people at home know that uh, November 15th is a. Uh, Wild Bill's next fight night, it's the first Saturday night fight here at Wild Bill's, Duluth, Georgia. Premier event in the southeast, and there's Bernard getting to his feet, a little wobbly, took some shots there, obviously. 
But uh, seems to be okay. It's a little bit of a smile on his face, maybe. Yeah, good show of sportsmanship there by Bernard Rutherford. I'd like to thank our sponsors tonight while we're waiting on the uh, official announcements from Southside Steve. Budweiser, the Great American Lager, D. Geller and Sons, who gave away some, some uh, the gift certificates tonight. Flood Brothers moving in storage. Paradise Funding Group, the fights tonight have been brought to you by Undis giveaway. David Oakless and Undisputed Productions, Amy Lynn and Steve Mutter from Full Son. Throttle Entertainment. Uh, as, as, as Roy said, Spot we got our first Wild Bills fight night coming up Saturday, November 15th it is? November 15th, yes, Cliff. Great night of fights. Forbes is looking good. You're right. He has matured since uh, since uh, tough three. No doubt. You know, he was pretty one-dimensional back then and and uh, has found himself a good gym. Jamie Varner's a, you know, phenomenal fighter in his own right. WC uh, was a lightweight champion, an excellent boxer, wrestler, jiu-jitsu guy. And uh, he's definitely got himself in with a good camp. Looks like he's improved quite a bit, both in the ring, mentally, as a fighter. And uh, to expect good things and big things from Jesse Forbes. He's, he's still young and only 23 years old. Right, and we're going down to the ring with Southside Steve Rickman yeah, for the uh, particular. That does conclude the fighting for the night, but the party just begins with DJ Ricks again. $1,000 giveaway tonight. One o'clock from D. Gellerson. We will clear the chairs in minutes. The music will kick in and the fun will start. All the fighters are going to come out, hang out, have some drinks. So if you don't want to get backed up in the parking lot, hang out with us tonight at Wild Bills. And again, we remind you, September 15th, it's a Saturday. Tickets are available tomorrow for Wild Bills Fight Night 22. And for more info, go to www.fullthrottlemma.com. Again, to remind you, Darius Rucker, Hootie, Thursday, September 25th, right here at Wild Bills, 9 p.m., $15 charge at the door, and you receive a free CD at the door. Jeff Bates, Friday, September 26th, 9 p.m. start, and the Little River Band, Luau, Saturday, September 27th, 9 p.m. Tickets available at the door or at wildbillsatlanta.com. Upcoming dates, and you might want to get these, especially if you're a country fan, for tickets sell out Montgomery Gentry, right here along with Ario Speedwagon and Lou Bryan. Upcoming dates and shows for Wild Bills. Remember that. At this time, Dave Oblis with Undisputed Productions along with Amy Lynn from Full Throttle Entertainment have a presentation now wearing the belt. 23 years old from Temple, Arizona, fighting for Arizona Combat Sports. He is now the NFC United States Heavyweight Champion, Red Corner tonight, Jesse Fours. Yeah, I believe he touched on it. A lot of guys have come hey, through that house. some love. Again, Jesse took that fight round one at the 2 minute 37 mark winner and a stoppage due to the referee, Blake Grice, for strikes.